I'm Diana Davis. I'm a visiting assistant professor of mathematics at Swarthmore College, and I study billiards. Now, here's an acute triangle. It has a periodic billiard trajectory called the Fagnano, Fagnano trajectory. Here's what you do. You drop the altitudes, and you connect the feet of the altitudes. And then it turns out that these angles are equal, these angles are equal, and these angles are equal to each other. So this is a periodic billiard trajectory. Now, this works for all acute triangles, but you might wonder, does every triangle have a periodic billiard trajectory? So over here is a space of all triangles. The Fagnano trajectory gives us that every acute triangle does have one. Now, um, this triangle has angles alpha, beta, and gamma, all less than 90 degrees. That's why it's acute. And so we can plot where this is on the space of all triangles. It's right here. Alpha is a little less than 60 degrees. Beta is a little more than 60 degrees, that sort of thing. So this triangle is represented by one point. On this, in this space of all triangles. And the Fagnano trajectory tells us that every acute triangle has a periodic billiard trajectory. So that's everything in here. Well, that's pretty good. But there are all these other triangles that we'd like to know if they have a periodic billiard trajectory. Now, if you have a right triangle, this construction doesn't work because the altitudes coincide with the edges. But it turns out there's another really cool construction that you can use. So here's a right triangle. Let's drop the altitude to the hypotenuse. And now, if you sit right here near the foot of the altitude, and you shoot towards the corner parallel to the altitude, check out what happens. Angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. Angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. And it comes right back perpendicularly. So this makes a period 6 billiard trajectory. Um, my advisor, my PhD advisor, Rich Schwartz, thought about this, thought of this, and he calls it shooting into the corner. So shooting into the corner gives us a periodic billiard trajectory of period six for any right triangle, and that's these. Um, he got interested in this problem, and he ended up proving that every triangle whose largest angle is less than 100 degrees has a periodic billiard trajectory. And he did that with a computer-aided proof that broke up the space of triangles into little patches and proved that it, within each little patch, all of those triangles had a periodic billiard trajectory. So if we know that every, angle whose, every triangle whose largest angle is less than 100 degrees has one, that's something like this. Well, that's pretty good. Um, and then a recent development, just in the end of last year, in August 2018, four authors, um, Garber, Marinov, Moore, and Tokarski, proved that, in fact, every triangle whose largest angle is less than 112.3 degrees has a periodic billiard trajectory. So that extends this a little further into the corners. But as you can see, there's still work to be done. There are these corners where you could prove that a periodic billiard trajectory exists. And finally, I should mention that, it mentioned that in 1986, Howie Mazur proved that Every triangle whose angles are rational has a periodic billiard trajectory. Now that means that if you measure their angles in degrees, their angles are rational numbers. So that gives us a lot of triangles, infinitely many triangles, and you can represent them by little dots all over this picture. Um, the dots fill in this picture densely, and yet their total measure or total area is zero. So if you randomly chose a triangle, it wouldn't have rational angles, but on the other hand, that very, very nearby, there would be a triangle with rational angles that we know has, an, has a periodic billiard trajectory, and in fact, infinitely many. So there's still room for you to prove more things. Here's a warm-up problem. How about if you had an isosceles triangle, so a triangle that has two equal angles, can you come up with a construction that gives a periodic billiard trajectory for that? Those are um, represented by, by these lines here. And you can find a nice construction that gives that. Um, I work in, uh, I, I've been working on the Pentagon. Here's an example of a periodic billiard trajectory on the Pentagon. Aren't they beautiful? So there's infinitely many of them, and they're all very beautiful. And it's a wonderful area to work in.